Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study the compression test. The focus of this video is to investigate the compression behavior of concrete and wood. Also, two methods of calculation of modulus of elasticity will be discussed. Concrete is classified as a brittle material. It has a low tensile strength capacity. For this reason, when it is designed to support tensile loads, it is always reinforced with steel bars or rods. The strength properties of concrete mainly depend on its mix, water, sand, gravel, and cement, and the time and temperature of curing. Wood is often moderately ductile. It is designed only to respond to elastic loadings. The strength characteristics of wood depends on species, moisture content, age, size, and arrangement of knots in the wood, how the specimen is loaded, parallel or perpendicular to its grain duration of load. The compression test is one of the most fundamental material tests to determine the properties of materials needed for the design of structures. The main purpose of this test is to obtain the relationship between the average normal stress and average strain in most engineering materials. These properties are needed for the design of structures. For this test, a cylindrical concrete specimen is subjected to a compressive force while the elongation is measured using an LVDT. LVDT stands for Linear Variable Differential Transformer. The LVDT is mounted with compressometer on the specimen. For this test, a rectangular cuboid wood specimen is subjected to a compressive force. Now we will look at stress strain diagrams for concrete and wood. In general, compressive stresses and strains are negative. However, the results of the compression test, the sign is ignored and the compressive stress and strain are assumed to be positive. As we know, concrete is classified as a brittle material. For most brittle materials, as well as concrete, the ultimate strength in compression is much greater than in tension. 
This is due to presence of microscopic cracks, flaws, cavities that tend to weaken the material in tension. Now we will illustrate two methods of calculation of modulus of elasticity. The first method we are going to look at is the tangent Young's modulus. The tangent Young's modulus is the slope of the stress strain curve at some percentage of the ultimate strength. It is generally at 50% of the ultimate strength. For example, let's compute the test value of the tangent modulus of elasticity at 50% of the maximum strength for wood. The second method is the secant Young's modulus. The secant Young's modulus is the slope of a straight line joining zero to a point on the curve at some fixed percentage of the maximum strength. For example, let's compute the test value of the secant modulus of elasticity at 40% of the maximum strength for wood. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Best of luck with the lab.